Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Mr. Jimmy here coming to you again this morning. Coming to you again this morning. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Another wonderful day. Another wonderful day, indeed. It is. We're going to check this mailbox real quick. See if we got anything. See if we got any glove letters or something. <laughs> what a big envelope. Thrift savings. Ah, that was for my son. The rest of it's in the back of the mailbox. All right, got my check stub. Ooh, it's all my itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty check, check. All right, folks, we are rolling strong this morning. It is Tuesday morning, folks. Tuesday morning, April 4th, 2023. That's right, folks. I'm a day late and a dollar short. I know my videos. I can't I can't live stream cause the signal, so my videos get uploaded the next day. Or I mean I I upload them this evening when I get home from work. So that I have Wi-Fi to do it. Anyway, folks. I may be able to get it uploaded through some magical way. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, clicking on another wonderful video. Another talk video on my way to work. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Folks, my last video, I, I had a topic about uh, online social media talking about if you're in a relationship if you're married all that kind of stuff referring to like if i'm in a relationship or if i'm in a marriage or or anything was asking what your opinion was of of women having access to be able to send me a private message or inbox message or anything like that how do you feel about uh social media being like that the, that's the day's time the day's the way the way things are today you know social media is if you're on a social media outlet if your significant other is on a social media outlet most social media outlets have a inbox messenger section and how my question was how do you feel like I mean, how do you feel about it that, like, if I was in a relationship, I was married and all that kind of stuff, how do you feel, how does it make you feel knowing that there's an inbox that millions of beautiful women have access to send me private messages that nobody sees? How do that make you feel? That's the big topic. That's the big thing. That's why I'm trying to, you know, understand with this new day and time, you know, uh, people have access to things that they didn't have back in the day. We always say, oh, I wish we could, you know, have a marriage like our grandparents, you know, or, or, or our parents or our grandparents or, you know, one of them that where they stayed together their whole life. They got married young. They lived their whole life together, died of old age together. I mean, that's in the old days. This day and time we have internet, we have social media, we have messenger, we have chat rooms, we have all these things. And that, my friend, is the answer to the old, the biggest question around is, <laughs> why don't relationships last anymore? <laughs> well, there you go. A lot of reasons, not all the reasons, but a lot of the reasons are why relationships, why people don't stay in love with each other, is because no matter how much you love someone, if that person has a messenger that's getting inbox messages from other single people, or other married or relationship people, you don't know. 
You don't know who messages me, do you? You have no idea who sends me messages, private messages, inbox messages, whatever you want to call it. You have no idea. I could be in a relationship, I could be a married man, and on here saying whatever it is I want to say, and then somebody could be sitting there inboxing me, and you would never know. That's the day and time that we live in. That's the day and time that we live in. Hear that phone going off? Of course, that's not Messenger. That's my, that's my post on Facebook. I say good morning every morning on Facebook. That's what that is. Just notifications popping up. Anyways, I don't talk on Messenger very much. I may, every once in a blue moon, I reply to messages. People know that. People know that, that if you send me an inbox message, it may be hours before I reply because I just don't go in Messenger. I don't have the time to go in Messenger and carry on conversations in Messenger. You understand what I'm saying? I, I don't have the time to be in Messenger. So, uh, just putting that out there. But that's the big topic. That's the thing that's always that's all what's that's always out there. You know, something to think about. You know, you got Facebook Messenger, you got Instagram Messenger, you got Twitter Messenger, you got uh what's the other one? You got WhatsApp. Uh it's just a encrypted messages or something other that people like to use where they can't get caught, you know, or stuff like that. It's just, it's just crazy stuff. You got Telegram, same thing, same way. All those different messaging outfits. All it is is a platform for people to cheat. Platform for people to mischief. Quite honestly, if I'm in a relationship and I'm in love with somebody, I don't talk to other women in Messenger. If somebody wants to talk to me, they can just put it right on my uh, put it right on my Facebook post for the world to see. Because you shouldn't be saying anything to somebody in a relationship. You shouldn't be saying anything to somebody in a relationship that you're not willing for the whole world to see. Because if you're trying to be sneaky and mess with somebody else's companion, then it says a lot for you. You know what I'm saying? If you're willing to mess with somebody that's in a relationship, that says a whole lot about you right there. So anyway, folks, the whole thing is, you know, I tried to explain it is, you know, like if I was in a relationship, if I was married, if I had a significant other, I wanted to know your thoughts about it that if I'm in a relationship do you how do you feel about other women being able to message me that was the question that's the question and I wanted to I wanted answers I wanted to find out from everybody what your thoughts and what what you thought of that and everything so that was in my last video my last talk video I miss I messed up on my dating of I said I said I think I said April I might be saying March I don't know but it's April it was April I, I said April 2nd I think on the video I don't remember what it was I put it on I don't remember what I said or it might have been this one I was yesterday anyway see the confusion in the morning it's just this is what these talk videos are about, baby. This is what this talk video is about. Getting all this crazy stuff off my head. But yeah, folks, I, I, I question that about social media today. So if you get involved with somebody, that's the biggest question. Who else are they talking to? Because no matter who you get involved with, whoever you're dating, whoever you're married to, whoever, if they got social media, if they got messenger, Guess what? 
Somebody's a messaging them. Some girl that knew him a long time ago or knew him before you came along is messaging them. That's why most of my friends on Facebook are, 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 are females because the husbands that I'm friends with aren't allowed to get on social media because they are smart enough to know that they would get in trouble if they got on social media. They, they're smart enough to know that women will be messaging them, inboxing them on social media. So that's why a lot of my male friends don't be on Facebook. <laughs> it is hilarious, you know, because it's true. Best way to do it, I don't know if there's a best way. That's just the way life is now. You just got to trust somebody. And that's the hardest thing there is because everybody is prone to attention, it seems like. It's like everybody that I've ever dated, everybody that I've ever dated or been involved with, everybody that I, you know, been falling in love with or, or whatnot, every single body that I've, I've, I've been involved with, we're talking to other guys privately. Yes, all of them. All of them. Now that's been since you know social media. Before there was other ways like talking on the telephone or sneaking around. Anyway, what I'm saying is everybody, everybody's done it. Everybody's done. It. Now you might ask me about me. Well, I'm not in a relationship. I haven't been in a relationship in so long. I don't even know what a relationship is anymore. I'm serious, folks. I got divorced over 20-some years ago. I got divorced over 20-some years ago. I haven't been in a serious relationship. Sure, I've dated people here and there. Just a little date here, date there. Nothing that evolved into anything permanent or long-term or anything. Because I, they end up they end up cheating. They end up talking to somebody else. So I've been single for a long time. I'm pretty pretty smart about it. I mean, I'm not stupid. I, I observe people. I watch people. And people can't help it. I mean, it's just like the latest girl that, that you know, the one that I was that I was kind of talking to uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. That one girl. She, she, she is the same way. Same way. You know? God bless her heart. I swear to God, God bless her heart. She, she, if she would just be an honest person, it, you know, she'd be a whole lot better. Um, but God bless her. I don't hate her. I don't have anything against her. She's just like everybody else that I, that I, that I talk to. And no big deal. That's just the way people are this day and time. Look at that moon up there. Woo! The freaks come out at night. <laughs> anyway, folks, and I'm not trying to, I really am not trying to down nobody or, or, or put anybody down or anything like that. I'm just stating the facts that it's hard to have a relationship this day and time because of social media. You know, just it's just is. At this day and time, it's better just to be friends. And that's what I've done for the last longest. I always tell people, I, I have friendship. That's all I have to offer is friendship. I, I, I don't get involved. You know, sometimes I will stumble into something and, 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 and comp some feelings and stuff and all, but it... it, it it's a, it reminds me, it don't take long to where the flags will, will go up and say, Hi, ah, look at this, Jimmy. What are you thinking? Look at this. Look at this. You know, just a refresher, a memory refresher to kind of say, What are you doing, Jimmy? Don't you see that right there? <laughs> She's just like all the rest. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I stumble and fall sometimes and get into a relationship like that, kind of like, don't really be in the relationship. I've never. It's hard to say I was in relationships because relationships are relationships. 
And I think I more or less, I dated from time to time. I casually dated from time to time. But for the last three or four years or so, I don't even date. I don't even date. I don't even, I don't even mess with it because, you know, if you go out with a, you go out with somebody and you really like them, you can fall for them easily. If you really like them, you can fall for them. And my advice to everybody, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Because people today in this day and time, it's hard to find an honest person. It's hard to find somebody that is going to be on the same level. Because two people don't think alike. There's no two people that think alike. No two people that feel exactly alike. So, be cautious. Is all I can say is be cautious. Always, always keep your guard up. Because some people can get very devastated from relationships. You know, like, like if I meet somebody and I think that they're just like gorgeous, this and that and the other, and I'm just like, oh, I just love the way they look. I love their eyes. I love their lips. I love their nose. I love their, 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 their skin tone. I love everything about them. And you go out with that person or that person shows you a little bit of attention. Guess what? It's like a hook and sinker right there. You. You are the weak one in that relationship, believe it or not. The one that loves the most is the weakest. No, maybe not weakest, but the most vulnerable. Because people in this day and time, a lot of people, not everybody, a lot of people take advantage of people that fall in love with them. They do. They take advantage of people that fall in love with them. Because they feel like if you're in love with them, then uh, they got it made. They can do what they want to because you're the one that's puppy loved. You're the one that's going to do whatever it takes. You're the one that's going to be loyal and everything. And they take advantage of that. They take advantage of it. And that's why on social media, a lot of times you have friends that you've been friends with on social media. When they see you fall for somebody or anything like that, that's why they get all stirred up. Because they they see what's going on. You know, I got some good friends on Facebook. And when I start acting like I like somebody or I start feeling, have feelings for somebody or whatever, all of a sudden those friends of mine, they start throwing up warning signs. They start saying, you know, this and that, dude. They see it. Because if you get in love, you'll, you really get, you know, my windshield. When you're in love, you're confused. Your reality on things moisture on the road. Fog. Your, 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 uh, your thinking can get a little confused. So just be careful with that. So anyway, folks, I didn't mean to talk all about all the other stuff, but my main topic was about the social media messenger and all that. Be advised, if you are in a relationship with a significant other and they have messenger be aware be aware now if you can just go with the old thing if you don't know it won't hurt you I've been living that way for a long time I've been living that way for a long time my motto in my mind I keep telling myself what I don't know won't hurt me well the thing about it is what you don't know that you're saying won't hurt you that thing that you don't know about is growing. In other words, somebody is swaying your significant other away. Sweet talking them away. Flirting with them constantly. Eventually, your significant other 
is no longer yours. You understand? So, that's why I'm single, friends. That's, that's why I'm like I am. I'm, I'm single. 58-year-old pirate over here in the U.S. Stationed right here in South Carolina. Along the East Coast. I tiptoe lightly around relationships. I'm very observant. So, folks, if y'all get out and about, my gosh, my gosh, do be safe and courteous and nice. Do help somebody if you can, as long as it's safe for you to do so. Because there's some nutcases out there in the world today. <laughs> Let's keep it positive, my friends. And do comment on this video. Comment if you got any laughs about it. Comment on it. Tell me your crazy stories about it. I mean, you know, I just I, I just thought it was a good topic because I just, it's just something I was noticing on social media. And, and, and people that, you know, that message me, you know, I've had married people message me on, on, on Messenger. I've had people that are in relationships message me. And I'm like, what are you thinking and what are you doing messaging me? You know, I'm the, I'm the kind of person like, if you're in a relationship and you're messaging me, what makes you think that I want to be with you? If you cheat on them, you'll cheat on me. You know what I'm saying? People don't think about that. <laughs> you got to get, you got to, you got to, you got to handle one situation before you go to another. You know what I'm saying. Y'all, let's just stay honest. Hey, they quit trying to be sneaky and all that kind of stuff. Because <laughs> you might have something good. You might have something good and you may throw it away for something that's just going to come back and bite you in the ass. You know, karma's always sitting out there waiting. Karma is always sitting out there waiting to get you. So be careful. Be careful, my friends. Be careful. So get in the comment section. But first, you need to click that subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. And uh, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. If you got some thoughts, ideas about this video, put them in the comment section. I will read them. I'm slow about it, but I will read them. Let me know what your thoughts are on this this topic. And uh, tell me how you think about it. Do you talk to somebody else while you're in a relationship? Do you inbox messages? Do you talk, carry on conversations while with others while you're in a relationship? Let me know what you what what your uh, what your thoughts on that is. Or you can uh, inbox me. Go in the description area of my videos. Each video. Go in the description area. You can go down to Messenger. There's Messengers. In them. I got my Messenger in there. All that kind of stuff. And you can tell me your thoughts about it. And that's okay. If it's a regular conversation, there's no problem with a regular conversation, you know. And uh, tell me what you think. Come on. I want to know. <laughs> It's good to know what other people think, you know. It's always good. Anyway, folks, we here, we are here, and it's time to get it started. Time to get another day going. Time to get up close to this here light pole. Park it. Turn the lights off. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful day, folks. It's going to be a beautiful day. Just know, just know that I love each and every one of you appreciate you especially the ones that subscribe to my videos <laughs> I've slowly got a few subscribers I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year it's gonna be hard to do that I'm not a very interested person to listen to I'm, I'm not a yeah I'm not a very interesting person to make people th that people want to listen to and just like this morning i jumble around with my thoughts i thought i'm not a very good speaker i apologize i know it sometimes might be hard to follow me in conversation and, or in when i'm talking 
but I do try. I just have fun with it. Life is life is a life is a wonderful. You just gotta enjoy it along the way, cause when it's over, it's over. When I'm dead, I'm gone. Anyway, folks, till next time, this is Mr. Jimmy. Peace out, my friends. Peace out.